We're back on Highway 49, also known as the California Gold Chain. We're somewhere between Columbia State Park and Angel's Camp. But we're headed to a place in between here in Angel's Camp. Actually, right now we're almost to the place where we're passing Mark Twain's cabin. There's a link to the site right there. You can check that out if you like, but we're on our way. I'm Michelle, and here we go. Today, we're headed north of Sonora, California on Highway 49 to what's left of Carson Hill. Crossing over Maloney's into Calaveras County, we are almost there. On May 24th in 1851, the Sonora Herald stated, there have been rumors in town for the last few days sufficient to startle the imagination even of Baron Munchausen of the extraordinary deposits of gold just discovered at Carson Creek. Carson Hill would become one of the most productive mining camps in the state, with nearly 26 million in gold and quartz found in the area. In fact, the largest gold nugget from the United States was taken from the Morgan Mine at Carson Hill in 1854, weighing 214 pounds. Today, there's little more than a few monuments to indicate this once prosperous town. Many of the buildings in Carson Hill were burned or torn down. Currently, only a handful of ranchers reside here, while just a few stone or concrete foundations remain of the mills of yesterday. As I look at some of these old houses, I often wonder about the dreams and hopes and lives of the people who called this home. Sometimes you can just hear a story. You can hear the story of a history that is just breathing out through these bones of a building. Early mining around Carson Hill consisted of individuals using ground sluicing and working the streams with long toms and rockers. Later, mines would be developed, such as the famous Morgan Mine. The Morgan Mine was one of the richest mines in the area, so much so that miners didn't even have to dig. They would just simply blow up a vein and collect the pieces. Now all that hustle and bustle is gone, with only a few structures to remind us. You know, it's really strange to think, in a place that looks so desolate now, that there used to be all sorts of people here. History's funny that way. Could this old oak have been a favorite spot for some miner to eat his lunch in the shade? It would have been smaller, yet certainly here at the time. While those old mines are gone, there is still a more sophisticated mining going on even still. Let's hop down the road to the mining area of Glory Hole, now a water sports destination. Of course, nowadays, Glory Hole takes on a completely different meaning. So, is it a full destination? <laughs> no, of course not. But if you happen to be exploring the gold country and you're on Highway 49, it's worth a stop and check just to see it. And if you like water sports, there's always Glory Hole. I've had a great time exploring this now quiet town, but it's time to head home. 